Hi, Dr. Scott Jensen here. I'm running to be the next governor in Minnesota. I want you to think cover-up, political calculus, and the heck with real science. That's what we're talking about today. A couple days ago, this article came out. A court document filed last week claims Governor Tim Walz's administration attempted to pin the blame for COVID-19 deaths in long-term care facilities on youth sporting events without any evidence to back it up. I have piles and piles of email addresses. Let's just go, or excuse me, of emails. Let's just go back to November 3rd. This is a comment from someone in, the, in Minute, uh, Minnesota IT group with the state. Based on all data I've seen, spread from the actual sports competition is not one of our highest risk concerns. Then we go forward a day or two. November 5th. This is from someone in the Department of Health. The election, particularly the loss of six DFL seats in the House, was in part a referendum on our guidance and sports was part of that. I don't think we should meet until next week when we get clear guidance from the governor's office on how to proceed. Someone else loops in, just looping in. I still worry about the bias in how this data was collected. Then we go to Margaret Kelly, Deputy Commissioner, Department of Health. Dan and Chris, Governor made an ask this morning on the daily call about what data we could provide to help articulate the need to hit a pause on youth sports. So stop youth sports. This is November 18th, okay? So what can the governor have in terms of data to justify what he's doing? Sounds like he is starting to get a lot of pushback. Specifically, he is wondering if we can help connect the dots between attending a youth sporting event and then showing up for work at a long-term care facility or going to the bar and then to work at a long-term care facility. The First Lady asked if we had data between attending a youth sporting event to having an extended dinner at a restaurant. You see what's happening? They're looking for places to blame. They're using our kids. They're stopping sports and trying to connect it to nursing homes deaths. And then we get this consultant email. We need to more explicitly the youth sports to long-term care people. People are going to youth sports, sitting in bleachers, eating popcorn, and talking with people around them, cheering, then maybe stopping at a restaurant or bar on the way home, then going to a job in a long-term care facility the following day. The spread and deaths in long-term care can be traced back to youth sports and some of these social settings. This is a cover-up. Kids were denied the chance to compete in the sporting event of a lifetime. There was a hearing today in the Senate on this. And we have an email stream covering from November 3rd to November 18th, laying it all out. And now we've got literally the courts involved with the communications between Governor Walls, the Department of Health, and other people who work, work for him. Political calculus is being used to determine what to do next. Kids are being used as sort of the shield or maybe the scapegoat. Real science, real transparency is right out the door. So the governor gets to his office and says, I need some cover because I'm taking some pushback. Even the first lady's involved. Folks, is it time for a change in leadership at the Department of Health? Governor Walls, when you ask for this kind of data, do you honestly think these people who are dependent upon you for the continuation of their jobs are going to fail you? They are going to find what you want them to find. And now your, your office is in court. This is just wrong. This is a cover-up. Come clean. And I think we better start looking for new leadership in the Department of Health because this is just wrong. Kids' lives have been decimated. Every person in Minnesota should be engaging this issue and paying attention. We've got the governor's office interfacing with the Department of Health, concerned more about political calculus than their transparent truth and real science. And the kids are being used and abused. Wow.